Do Black people have Second Amendment rights? When we look at what was happening at that time, you had slavery in, in, in America, and you had the enslaved refusing to be subjugated. And so there was the constant fear of revolts, the constant fear of uprisings. That fear was so palpable that you had a series of laws being put in place in colonial America that denied Black people the access to arms, the access to weapons. Um, and, and it got so intense that during the War of Independence, South Carolina was beseeched upon to, to arm the enslaved because there weren't enough white men to fend off the British. The South Carolina refused. They were horrified that they would be asked to arm the enslaved. They would rather take their chances with the British than actually arm those whom they held captive. And, and that fear of Black people, that fear of retribution, courses through into the debates in the founding of the Constitution and in the debates in the ratification of the Constitution, particularly in Virginia, where the Constitution had language in there that the militia would be um, under federal control. The militia was essential for quelling slave revolts, for keeping the enslaved um, under, under rule. That battle in Virginia over ratification led James Madison, who was the architect of the, of the Constitution, to know that he had to have a Bill of Rights that would quell that dissent, that would mean that there wouldn't be a movement to have a new constitutional convention. Um, and that's what the Bill of Rights was designed to do. But you've got this really weird outlier about the right to a well-regulated militia um, mm. for the security of the state, um, which leads to the, the right to bear arms. That was about uh, a bribe to the South. To, to make them comfortable that the militia would remain under state control. Here he was, a man who had a licensed weapon and gunned down because he had a licensed weapon. He wasn't threatening anyone, but the police officer said he was fearful. He was afraid. And that fear, that fear of Black people um, is underlying the Second Amendment. It's underlying the short-circuiting of African-American citizenship rights. And the, the, the NRA, which is the guardian of the Second Amendment, they went virtually silent in the right. killing of Philando Castile. And that was just jarring to me. Um, and because this was the same NRA that was absolutely vociferous at Ruby Ridge and at Waco, calling federal officers jack booted thugs um, who would murder law abiding citizens. And so to have that. For Philando Castile to be gunned down because he has a weapon, a legally licensed weapon, and to get nothing of any substance from the NRA led to the question, do Black people have Second Amendment rights? Hmm. Now, I thought that was a great question. 